Retail shops are now beginning to adjust prices of commodities in response to the appreciating Zimbabwean dollar by last week. Most basic commodities were priced in line with the real value of the Zimbabwean dollar or at least reduced significantly, scrapping off the forward pricing that had dropped havoc uh, when the local currency was on a free fall. Bread was one of the first commodities to reflect a reduction in price. Some of the commodities that followed suit include beverages, millimil, sugar, cooking oil and salt. The Consumer Protection Commission also took the opportunity to conduct a survey. We now cross over to Chairperson Dr. Mtogosi Zimkosi to give us more on the issue. Uh, Dr. Mkosi, are the prices on the ground a true reflection of the Zimbabwean dollar value on retail remains skeptical at this point? I think we expected more from the retail outlets, especially the big uh, operators. Because what you see is that um, the Zim dollar appreciated by more than 20%. Uh, but what we saw, uh, the average decrease, if you look at a number of our products, and mainly the basic products, the average decrease was around 7%, which we feel um, as a commission uh, is not enough. We expected a lot more. The quantum is not really matching. Can the Zimbabwe allow the dollar to freely float successfully? Is the success exchange system sustainable? Or should the country consider dollarizing? Although government has a position regarding all that, different analysts have divergent views and strong reasons too. Diplomatic passport, which premiered on Sunday, digs deep into the issue. In the second quarter of 2023, the Zimbabwe dollar started depreciating. What the economy stated was in a rapid and unsustainable manner. Prices of basic goods and services shot up beyond the reach of most citizens. The black market rate at some point went as high as 12,000 Zimbabwe dollars to the greenback. In the formal market, interbank rate reached almost 7,000 to one United States dollar. So the major question for me was why? What led to this huge exchange rate depreciation? Speaking to economists, there appeared to be a few reasons for this. So one's perception, which is why we have the self-fulfilling prophecy in terms of maybe how markets can behave sometimes. So we, I, we feel, and I feel, our, you know, our powers that be, they need to attend to the behavioral, behavioral finance or behavioral economic side. The biggest fundamentals uh, of uh, stability of an exchange rate is for uh, uh, that it should be able to exchange. You can be able to move from one currency to another and vice versa. It was a busy weekend for political parties ahead of the August 23 elections. The ruling party held a rally in Izaka, Mashringo, where an estimated 124,000 people attended. The opposition CCC also had their rally in Gweru, where they launched their campaign. Previously, Triple C had claimed they were being stopped from holding rallies. Another opposition party, the MDC, which failed to register 87 of their House of Assembly candidates, remained preoccupied with court issues. Most of the other parties and independent candidates have resorted to social media to try and communicate with the electorate. Following the readmission of Zimbabwe into international football family, by Zifa recently, focus quickly shifted to the players and the technical team to do duty for the nation. Zimbabwe will mark their return with the 2026 World Cup qualifiers campaign expected to start this November. Over the past week, calls have been made to persuade players like Knowledge Musona and Kama Billiard to come out of retirement ahead of the qualifiers, which will see the Warriors battling against teams like Nigeria and South Africa for the 2026 final slot. Musona and Billiard will some section of the fans believe have reached the twilight of their careers retired from international football after the 2021 Cameroon Africa Cup of Nations finals. Now the big question is does Zimbabwe still need the duo who carried the team for over a decade? Zimbabwe International Marshal Munetsi believes that the current crop of players have what it takes to qualify for the 2026 FIFA World Cup finals. Zimbabwe who had their FIFA suspension lifted last week have been placed in Group 
C of the African FIFA 2026 World Cup qualifiers. The group has Nigeria, neighbors, South Africa, Benin, Lesotho and Rwanda. Winners of the nine group will automatically qualify, while four best runner-ups will play in a CAF playoff tournament. The winner of the CAF playoff tournament will play in the FIFA playoff tournament. Oh.